Pyeongchang may be hosting the Winter Olympics, but South Korea's capital Seoul will also take this opportunity to shine. With its potent blend of ancient palaces, grand skyscrapers, sizzling street food and glaring neon, Seoul is fast emerging as an Asian destination to rival the likes of Tokyo and Beijing. With the K-pop phenomenon exporting a bright new brand of Korean culture across the world, and fiery Korean cuisine the current global trend, there has never been a better time to visit. Camera icon facing garden at Jeongbok Palace. Picture, pics of Jeongbok Gung Palace translated as Palace of Shining Happiness, Jeongbok Gung is a sprawling site of halls and gates. Built in 1394, it provides a glimpse into South Korea's former royal patronage. Walk through the South Gate, one of the city's most recognizable landmarks, for free access to the front courtyard, while exploring the inner courtyards and the palace museum costs W3000 slash W1500, Australian dollar 2. 40 slash 1 Australian dollar and 70 cents. The exuberant ceremony of the guard change which takes place outside the South Gate three times per day except Tuesday, is worth catching. Dongdaemun Dongdaemun, the Great East Gate, is another ornamental palatial structure which now stands more or less in the center of the city, in the middle of a major traffic intersection. The broader area in which it sits, Dongdaemun, is packed with markets and food stalls, including the bustling, labyrinthine corridors of Guangjiang Market. Camera icon kimchi, South Korea's national food. Picture, Pixabay Museum kimchi and kimchi, a dish of fermented cabbage or other vegetables in a spicy marinade, is found all over Korea, accompanying almost every meal, so it seems only natural that there should be a museum in its honor. Museum kimchi can, in Sedongil 34 5, presents a new and dazzlingly modern multimedia exhibition about the origins and cultures surrounding what claims to be the world's healthiest food including, if you dare, free tasting. Tickets from W5000, 5 Australian dollars and 80 cents, closed Mondays. Nam June Paik Memorial House tucked away in a quiet back street in Dongmyo, a small hanok, a traditional Korean wooden house, harbors an interactive display in tribute to arguably the nation's most famous and controversial artist, Nam June Paik. Paik was one of the pioneers of video art in the 1950s and 1960s. Don't find it a 12 to 1 Jong Row 53 Gil, entrance free. Camera icon Jingi Chen at night. Don't picture, pics of H and Chen is in need of respite from the frantic pace of modern day Seoul can always escape to this river that flows right through the heart of downtown. Covered in concrete in 1958, during the city's rapid expansion, it was restored in 2003 and has become a much cherished institution by locals and tourists, who umbrella its banks while working life roars on relentlessly overhead. Hongdae The bustling suburb of Hongdae, close to the Hongguk University, buzzes with restless spirit and the shrieks of its innumerable street vendors and stallholders. But it is at night time when Hongdae really comes alive with its eateries and bars ensuring its tight streets stay packed well into the early hours. Camera icon Seoul comes to life after dark. Don't picture, pics of a Korean cuisine Seoul's seriousness about food is made plain in its sizzling street food stalls, while the most unprepossessing of exteriors mask stunning, all-you-can-eat hangouts selling bibimbap and other rice-based dishes for less than a fiver.